If you recall, in the last movie you created a series of controllers for the spine. To refresh your memory, the instructions were such that you were asked to freeze the transforms on the various shapes, and then you were asked to link the spine controllers to the main hip controller. This was done on purpose to demonstrate a potentially important problem. If you freeze transforms first, and then establish hierarchical links, you will encounter problems when you transform objects back to zero again. Select the four blue spine controllers and transform them back to zero. Notice how they jump up in Z, in fact, by exactly double the distance the main hip controller is from the ground. This happens because of how the hierarchical linkage was evaluated after the freeze transforms. Press Ctrl Z to undo the operation. The trick then is to create the hierarchy first and then freeze the transforms. This way, when you transform back to zero, everything would work as expected. Unfortunately, you won't always remember to do that in the proper order. In some cases, as it is at this point, you can make the necessary corrections. This means that after ensuring the hierarchical links are in place, you can freeze the transforms one more time. This ensures freeze transforms is evaluated on an already established hierarchy. Unfortunately, if you've already added wiring and expressions to the system, freezing transforms again will void all that hard work. In that case, you may want to consider position constraints. Let's simulate the problem one more time. With the four blue spine controllers selected, click the Unlink button on the main toolbar. Freeze the transforms again, and then link the selection one more time to the main hip controller. Now we're back to square one, with the problem shown earlier. Let's imagine you've already made a fair share of work on this, and that you don't want to lose it by using freeze transforms again. In that case, unlink the selection, and then use position constraint to constrain the selection to the main hip controller. This relocates some of the controllers. You just have to select them individually and adjust their offset status in the motion panel. You certainly need to relocate the neck and the head shapes, but the hip and spine base shapes are already in the right place. Mind you, it won't hurt to retain their original offset either. If you test it out now, and transform the controllers back to zero, you'll notice that everything will work as expected. In the next movie, you start rigging the spine.